morning everyone i have just got out of the shower it's still dark outside but the sky is so pink it looks so nice i love it i love waking up when, this, when it's like the sun's coming up it's so nice yeah so a little bit bleary eyed ali's downstairs asleep still i am up and ready because i've got a very festive afternoon in london um, I am first of all heading to the Todd store and then I have afternoon tea. So I am going to get ready. I'm going to do my hair with you finally. We're going to go through my hair and then I'm going to get dressed. I've got to do my makeup. I'm feeling a little bit like, oh, because I'm in London so much this week and I'm never usually in London more than I am at home because that's when things get crazy. So yeah, a bit worried about being in London today as well and tomorrow. But I need to get moving because I did sleep in an extra 15 minutes today, which is never good when you have a special time to be there. So I'm going to kick off my beauty routine by blow drying my hair first, just giving it a quick blast dry, and then I'll fake tan, then makeup, and then hair. Just unwinding my hair dryer. Um, this is the GHD Air. You've seen me using this before. Personally, I find this like value-wise the best and also in terms of drying to be honest you don't need anything more than this this is so good it's super fast at drying my hair and so many people have been asking me what to get their partners like so many of my friends like boyfriends and stuff and when they're like oh should I get this hair dry or should I get this hair dry I'm always like get this one it is definitely definitely worth the money so I am going to blast dry my hair um, there isn't really much of an art to this except for the fact that I need to brush it <laughs> first off. <laughs> There's my hairbrush. Okay. I always find if I don't brush my hair before I blow dry it, it feels almost like the water gets caught in where the like knots are, so I always like to brush it through. And that is my hair. Dry enough, I'll give it a once over before I start styling it. Um, now I'm gonna put on some thick tan and then do my makeup. Okay, so my hair is dry. Um, I'm going to, first of all, straighten my hair just because straightening my hair makes it easier to wave and makes it more manageable. Um, my hair's quite puffy, as you can see. So smoothing it down ahead of kind of waving it looks best, but also I might just leave my hair like that today. I haven't really decided yet. This is the thing that I'm loving about my new hairstyle is the fact that I can leave it straight or wave it and it feels just as nice either way. I don't feel like I haven't sort of done my hair. So I'm going to tie this bit back on the side. Where's my clip? I picked it up. I swear, in all of these videos I'm searching for tools. Where did I put it? There it is. <laughs> to do both styles, I'm gonna be using the GHD Platinum Plus Styler. This is my one that's got my name on it. And basically this is great for straightening and waving. I find this the perfect size to do my waves as well as to straighten my shorter hair. So I'm gonna kick things off by sectioning my hair, grabbing my brush, turning it on, and just straightening everything ready for waving. Straightening everything, like everything in my path. It heats up so quick as well. There you go. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I always use a brush to smooth down the hair and I take smaller sections than I usually would if I had like the wider paddle one. Um, purely because it means that I don't have to keep going over them because this styler does it in one stroke. So a section of that size. Et voila. Perfect. <laughs> And I'm just going to do this all over my hair. You saw this in another video, so I'm going to speed it up. So cue the time lapse. So that is one side 
complete. I'm going to do the other side and then go back and wave. Part of me really wants to use one of the other GHD tools because I haven't tried them on my short hair. Just give it a bit of a test drive on my hair because I've seen Patrick using them and it looks amazing so maybe it'll work really well in my hair. But for now I'm going to use my Platinum Plus Styler because it never fails me. straight I love the blunt ends it just looks so much more modern but I'm going to go in with the platinum plus styler and now put in my cool girl wave so I'm going to talk you through that because I realized that you guys actually wanted to sort of see exactly what it was that I did so let's kick start basically start again essentially so tie this little bit but it's smoother so I haven't got any of like my flyaways or frizz or anything like that Take a small section at the bottom and I work my way up and then I break these sections into smaller sections as well. Start at the root because this is the shorter part of my hair and I wave until the bottom and I leave these kind of bits here straight so that they're just a little bit more kind of tousled or tousled or however you say it, that's what I'm going for. And that is that section done. Take the section above. Same again. And I just, it's almost like scoring paper. You just twist it outwards and I tend to pull down a little bit more so that it's not too kind of ringlety. Pulling down seems to make it a bit more wavy. And then leave the end bit mostly kind of straight like so. And the same again. Just keep doing this all over one side of your hair and then you'll do the same on the other side. And as your hair gets longer, you'll tend to get more kind of waves in it. Like now, it's getting a little bit longer so I can take smaller bits and do it at the top. And do it like so. Just so it's not too uniformed as well. Here is where my hair starts to get longer, especially around this bit, so you have to sort of pay a bit more attention to the waves, because these are just kind of like the underneath ones, so I, I don't really need to worry about them too much. So when it gets a little bit longer, I tend to do kind of two scours of my hair. Scour sounds like a really... Score! That's the word! I tend to score my hair twice, so I go turning it out at the root, and pulling, turning it over, and then doing the same again, but halfway down the hair, and then stopping just before the end, and that's essentially what you end up with. It's like a <laughs> which is obviously the technical term. We're gonna do the same again. At the root, and pull, flip it over, halfway down the hair. I kind of pick up where I left off, and then curl it around again because it saves me going like, ooh. Let's be grateful. We're still here. And then as we get to the kind of top layers, we can start to introduce some maybe alternative waves just so that it doesn't sit too samey on the top layers, like so. Together. On like the last layers now. So we're just adding in the odd forward swooshing wave. And again, pretty sure swooshing is the uh, technical terminology used by hair professionals the world over. Ding! <laughs> so, first side is done. 
and I've kept the waves kind of focused at the end rather than like up into the root just so it's a lot more effortless and I really like it. So now I'm going to go on to this side and show you it all again. So we start from the bottom and on this side we twist out from above because I'm able to get more of a twist through my wrist more. Again just twist and pull. So if you notice from this side we go from underneath, from this side we go on top. To be honest I always find this side just a wee bit harder than the other one because it's harder going from the top. I wish I could go like but I'm not coordinated enough. Don't be afraid to go back and kind of finish off the ends if they're not quite right. I always do that. I just grab it where the wave kind of comes in and just pull it back under if it's maybe sticking out a little bit too much. Little forward one because why not? To the oh gosh we're a bit dark then but we're on to the final layer now so I can finish this off nicely just twist and pull and then alternate it forwards straightening in one handy little tutorial. I haven't decided whether I'm going to pop it over to one side yet. We'll see. Let's finish off my outfit and then I'll show you my finished look. So I've gone for my Manning Cartel dress today. I've got my legs out and no, I'm probably not gonna be cold because otherwise I wouldn't have my legs out. But um, this is a dress that I bought in Australia and I am gonna stick that big coat over the top. I've got my Chloe boots on as well and then I've got my Prada bag. I'll show you with the coat on. My hair is finished and my makeup is finished as well. I actually really like how my hair has turned out today. I prefer the waves concentrated a little more at the bottom than all the way through the top. I've also done a little clip back because I always like to clip this little side back because it just keeps it out of my face a little bit. To be honest you'll probably see my hair straight a lot in Vlogmas and also um, wavy as well because I'm just loving my, wearing my hair both ways and it's just so easy and quick to do it straight as well so yeah I'm really happy that I've like learned how to style my hair now I'm really happy with it I'll link in the description box down below where you can grab the GHD platinum plus styler and also the GHD air hair dryer there is this really cute gift set that is available online at the moment as well which comes with both I've actually got it for someone in my family so I will show you that later but also tell you where you can find it as well because I'll pop it in the description box um, but I'm going to pop my coat on pop some perfume on and then I'm ready to go and this is my outfit with the coat on feeling super snug and no not cold so stop writing it in my comments I'm not cold <laughs> otherwise I'd put some tights on good morning everyone good morning oh we're very bright today we're you see Cal has now made a rod for his own back because we're now disappointed if he doesn't come in some form of fancy dress so you're on your own today do better <laughs> do better cow we are just about to jump in a taxi and head to the bond street todd store am i in focus i am now in focus uh, so we're going to jump in a cab how excited are you to look at lots of pretty shoes i just styled them in I, I, where's, can I, is that what we're doing today yes. i have no idea first off yes <laughs> 
So we're in the taxi and we're en route to the Todd store on Bond Street and we're going to have a look at the Alessandro Del Aqua collection. I hope I've said that right, but I'm sure that they will let me know when I get there. I'm terrible at pronunciation. But we're gonna go and have a look and try lots of shoes on and just have a lovely start to the morning, basically. I love that pink. Yeah, oh, that's my color palette. Even yeah. the brown, actually, I really like. Yeah. Because yeah. that brown is. So I've got two weird. pairs of these. Don't do man's. How much is this? How much is this one? I'll have to double check, but I think it will be at least two pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you have it. Yeah. <laughs> I will make tea for a year. <laughs> as long as I get the credit, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> to Lydia, from Lydia. <laughs> so you're like the royal family that has several trees there. Oh, yeah. Did you not see the video? Yeah, I saw, I saw I my one tree. There's three. <laughs> I saw the one tree, but oh, yeah, I did look at it and go, hang on a minute. That, that is tree, tree number one. <laughs> the biggest tree is the two Lydia from Lydia tree. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be crouching. Weapons quad. Squat day. Squat day. It's a leg day. It's usually our last squat a lot here in the day. 2001. <laughs> To be fair, <laughs> the internet has seen my feet enough for already. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so do you know why they call it footage? Because it's of my foot. <laughs> no, but it's, it's yeah. not because of your feet. Get it? <laughs> footage. <laughs> <laughs> you can go on stage with them tomorrow night. Yeah. I like this. Oh, pull. Pull, man. Pull. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely prefer the flats. Let's try on my usual style. I, for day to day, I think they're so cute because they're shiny. I think you'd get more wear out of the pointed ones, but I really like those as well. Yeah. But you do have, all your other ones are in that classic style. Velvet. That's the one. That's Felt, the one. Felt, Felt, Felt. We're not at nursery, Cal. It's not sticky animals. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, decisions, decisions. They're my faves. Yeah. They make your ankles look teeny tiny too. Yeah, I was going to say, you, you kind of look like you have a ballerina. Yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm like, so not a ballerina. <laughs> I don't know. Pirouette. First <laughs> <laughs> position. <laughs> Yay. I don't think that was first position. No, it wasn't, it was third, but we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> no, it's that These colour. are my new favourites. so great. And because you can wear them with dresses. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm, I'm yeah, such a boots and dress kind of I love those boots. Yeah. Sold. Treaties. Yeah. Treaty time. <laughs> 
Okay, checking yourself out with your new booties. Yeah, it's a yes for me, please. It's a yes for me. Cal, is it a yes from you? I just think it Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> he sounds so that unenthusiastic. Right? Okay. No, there is pure kind of face of into Oh, it looked like you were like scratching your hip. And it was like, oh, that's <laughs> good. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cal is vlogging me. <laughs> He's in the phone box vlogging with my camera. What are you doing? What are you doing? He's stuck. He's stuck. He's literally stuck. <laughs> He's having to do like a, a 12 point turn to get out. Abort! This is... Abort! <laughs> stuck. <laughs> this is like Austin Powers in the, in the Spy Who Shagged Me when he's trying to reverse out of the uh, thing. Well done, Cal. Well done. He's still not made it. Okay, he made it. Well done. On. Yeah. <laughs> when I to make so we finished up in Todd's and uh, I ended up yeah. buying boots. Oops. <laughs> That's all I have to say on that matter. Oops. <laughs> um, but they're beautiful, so all is fine. But we're going to go and find a coffee shop now and just sit down, grab a coffee before we go and have afternoon tea. Just shot some pics as well, which is obviously something that I'm like doing now that I'm spending more time in London. So it's all good in the hood. Although I don't know, do you know anywhere nice to go and get coffee, Carrie? Not around here. It's Cafe Concerto right there is quite nice. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll go there. We'll go there. Hi! Hi! Oh, this is so cool! Yeah. Oh, they got here. Pinball. <laughs> High score time. Foosball! It's definitely not foosball, Lydia. <laughs> is it not? I don't know what foosball is. Foosball's table football. Oh, is it? Yeah. Cal is treating me to the song that I walked down the aisle to. Oh, oh. Goosebumps. <laughs> it's like when you do something at school, and you're like, and that's it. <laughs> We've just finished up a quick snack, and now we're going to Claridge's for afternoon tea. This is where we say our oh, farewell to Cal. No. Why are you vlogging, Cal? <laughs> no, no, Why are you vlogging, Cal? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm completing the picture. <laughs> We're being extra, extra. Extra vlogging. This is more work for you. I <laughs> enjoy. I'm so embarrassed with YouTube holding out the pictures lately. He's picked up my spare camera and he's like, yes, I'm working on Saturday. <laughs> Oh my god, look! So cute! So I just finished up the most festive afternoon tea at Claridge's with Dior ever. I'm feeling even more festive than when I went in and I'm now in the back of a taxi uploading tonight's vlogmas video and I'm lit that's the taxi driver sneezing <laughs> I'm currently putting in the links and the tags and then we're ready to push live at seven o'clock it's uh full on the fact that I'm uploading on the go I never usually do this but that is the vlogmas life or the Christmas with the MG's life but I'm actually really enjoying it I did say on Twitter last night that I'm really enjoying it this year and I think I've probably said it in a few videos that I'm um very excited. I'm currently on the way to Carrie's sister's event. We're going to where? Cla Clacton? Clacton. Clacton. Not Clacton. East London. Not the seaside. And I'm hoping that Duck and Crutch are going to be there doing they a gin again. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I'm so excited. So excited. So yeah, I'm going to finish up getting this ready and um, working on the go. And then I will see you in a bit. <laughs>
This is the reality of Vlogmas. <laughs> when you're at an event and you have to use the storeroom to push your video live. I have gin though. We have gin. We have duck and crutch gin. Pr pretty much my favourite gin brand. So Best gin in the world. Best gin ever. So I've got that. I've got my laptop. I've got my whiffy. I'm good to go. Vlogmas day six. You are about to go live. Oh yeah. Christmas with the NG. I do this. Publish. Publish, right? I'm gonna get my phone out, I'll push it out, and then we can just go relax. And Ginny Gin Gin. Oh, can I connect to your Wi-Fi on my phone? Yeah. Oh, I still am. <laughs> yeah. Rinse my data, Melon. I'm so sorry. Also, O2, sort it out. I know, I've, I've literally tweeted them, like, I think, like to think I'm in a... a I like to think this person. is a great publicity stunt for them, because anyone who's anyone has tweeted them today. Yeah. And they've got a ton of exposure, not for the right reasons, but... Yeah, it's basically saying, look at all the famous people who use O2. Yeah. 